So the main part of the project management is the project planning. Okay. So in this lecture, we'll go through the project planning. For project planning, there are three parts. We can go through the, we can plan a project by using bar chart, by using milestone chart, or we can go for CPM and PERT. Okay. So these are the three basic tools by using which we can go for a good planning of a project. So next we'll go for the next first of all we'll go for bar chart so bar chart so before diving uh, going through, through this uh, introduction of the bar chart i will show the bar chart so this is the bar chart actually drawing the bar chart means just you will show the job activity along y axis job or any activity along y axis and you will show the time along x axis okay so this P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, these are the different activities. Okay. So suppose if you want to construct one apartment, then do the first activity that P will be just cleaning up a site. Okay. Next Q will be the line out. Okay. So next, uh, suppose R is the uh, excavation phase. Next S will be the suppose. Uh, 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 concreting of a footing okay like that okay or uh, just you can define concreting a footing next next level s will be suppose uh, the first floor level okay just that is the casting of a slab okay likewise just you can divide a different activities to be done while constructing any uh, infrastructure okay so these are called different activities or you can say these are different jobs Okay, so in bar chart, it is it is the it is developed by a Henry Gantt. Okay, so hence it is called as a Gantt chart also. Bar chart can be also called as a Gantt chart. Okay, it is the graphical representation of the different activities versus time, and each bar represent one specific job or activity of the project. Every bar is representing a different activity. Okay. And of course, a single bar is showing a single activity. Next, the beginning and end of the each bar represent the time of start and time of finish of that activity. So here we can see, suppose along X axis, I'm taking the time in days okay so cleaning of site will will take suppose it is taking three days cleaning of site suppose it is th taking three days so you can show like this okay so this is the start of this activity and this is the end of this activity so for this first p activity we are required three days so the length of the bar shows the total time duration required for that particular activity. Now, of course, uh, while uh, constructing any structure, there are different activities going on and that activities can go parallel. Okay, so parallel bars shows that activity are, that is going, that all activities happening simultaneously. Okay, so in this, bar chart you can see that that here p activity and r activity that is going simultaneously for p activity we are required three days for r activity we are required two days okay just time required by the both activity p and r the time required is different okay but start of the start of this p activity and r activity is at the same level that means both are both are starting simultaneously. Both the activities are starting simultaneously, or that's why you can call this P and R activity as a parallel activity. Okay. 
likewise parallel activity again there is another type of activity that is serial activity that is in activities in series okay so here this s activity if you observe this s t u and b these four activities okay so this after completion of s activity t activity is going to be started okay and next after completion of this t activity this is the end of this t activity after completion of t activity u activity is getting started again after ending of u activity v activity is getting started of course so here this you can call this as a activities in series so s t u v in this bar chart i have shown that these activities you can call this as a activities in series and you can call here p and r activity as activity as a parallel activity p and r happening simultaneously so this you can call it as a parallel activity okay so now come to this part so there can be a parallel activities also next the main the difficulty or the disadvantage of the using bar chart is it does not represent the sequence of the activity it does not represent the sequence of the activity this part is more important okay now come to this bar chart so here p and r activity are p and r activity are starting simultaneously just you can uh, you can observe from this bar, bar chart that p and r activity are starting simultaneously okay but you can't predict the sequence of the activities you can't predict the sequence of the activity that is first of all whether we have to go for p activity or whether you have to go for r activity so we don't know the dependency whether the p activity is dependent on the r activity what is dependency dependency means so suppose if you are going to construct uh, again if i consider example of the apartment so first of all you have to go for construction of a first level okay uh, again after uh, of course after that we'll go for the construction of a second level that is second story okay so for construction of the second story it is important that previously you have to complete the uh, total construction of first story itself okay so there is a dependent activity that is called as the dependent activity so in the bar chart there is a main disadvantage is that we don't we can't predict the sequence of the different activities we can't predict a sequence as well as the dependencies of the different activity okay this is the main advantage sorry main disadvantage of the bar chart okay so this is about the total bar chart of course the advantages of the bar chart is advantages of the bar chart that this for to draw the bar chart you are not required any not much technical knowledge is required anyone can draw easily okay so this is the main advantage and is easy to draw and understand of course this total bar chart by looking this total bar chart we can easily predict what is going on okay what is the time duration required for the every activity at least we know for which activity what is the time required okay and when the activity to be started okay so of course this is the first day this is the second day of course the queue activity is to be started at the second day okay likewise at least from the bar chart you can get at what time which activity is to be started and at what time the which activity must be ended okay so you can uh, monitor the given project by considering the bar chart for monitoring purpose these bar charts are more important 
so this is the two main advantages of the bar chart next the disadvantage disadvantage of the using the bar chart is updating is not possible updating means again we will come to the this bar chart suppose here s activity suppose this s activity here in this s, s activity set requires 1 2 3 4 4 four days are required to complete this s activity suppose due to some different reasons this s activity suppose it is uh, lagging behind uh, the lagging behind the schedule time that means uh, suppose for this s activity we are required 6 or 7 days to complete this s activity okay so it means as per uh, our schedule is hampered over here okay our schedule of planning of project is hampered over the s activity so we need to control the total project to control the total project that means we have to update the next schedule of course before starting of any project we have done some planning okay but due uh, due to n number of reasons that uh, what we what are we have planned that things do not go as per our plan okay at that time we have to change the plan or we have to go for the updating of a schedule okay the next updation of the schedule is required okay but in bar chart it is not possible to update because if you are going to update this s activity again what is to be done with the t u and v activity okay so in the bar chart this is the main disadvantage that is we can't update the bar chart okay and of course the bar chart does not gives any idea about the cost and resource allocation cost and resource allocation that means uh, it does not gives the idea that if one of the activity uh, we can uh, we can do it in in smaller time in if you if you are using different resources or if you are using by allocating uh, extra resources if you are able to uh, complete that activity within a smaller time okay that allocation or that cost relation it it doesn't undertake and that thing is not taken care of by the bar chart okay again the third important thing which are i already discussed with you that is sequencing sequencing and dependencies of different activity cannot be predicted by looking only towards the bar chart sequencing and dependency we can't find by looking only towards the bar chart okay this is the main disadvantages of the bar chart okay that's why to overcome that disadvantage we'll go to the milestone chart we'll go to the milestone chart so milestone chart means just before going to the details of this milestone chart i will show the milestone chart so this is the milestone chart okay uh, a difference between bar chart and milestone chart is just we are milestone chart is the developed version of the bar chart okay milestone chart is the developed version of a bar chart just simple we are going to use bar chart in that just we have to add some different activities 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are different activities okay so just we are putting it is a my chart my 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 stone chart is the modification of the bar chart milestones are the key events of main activity which represent by the bar okay so these there are specific points which marks completion of a certain portion of the main activity what it means suppose just we are going to say this p first activity for this p activity we are required total 4 days we are required total 4 days along x axis there is a we are going to consider duration so first suppose for 
completion of P activity were required four days. So out of these four days, the important just we are going to divide the total four days into two parts. That is first and second. That is to complete uh, for for smooth running of this P activity, we have to complete the first task. After that completion of first task. Then only, then only we can go for the second task. Okay, so just the total activity we have to subdivide in two parts. Okay, and we have to provide one milestone for that. Okay, so just so simple. Suppose I am going to consider example of suppose I am going from I am traveling from Sangli to Pune. Okay, so this is the total. So now my traveling from Sangli to Pune is the just total one activity okay so for this suppose i am required four hours so i am required four hours okay so i divide the total my activity in two parts okay so first of all i will put one milestone that uh, first of all i have to do it reach from this uh, sangli to uh, karad okay so i am putting this first milestone okay? when i am reaching the first at karad that means i am reaching a first milestone of my activity next suppose i am second point i am going to call is it is as a so i am reaching to the satara okay so this is the i am calling a second milestone of my total activity so of course here you can in the milestone chart we can show the dependency okay of course by reaching of course to uh, achieve the second target that to achieve the second task Okay, that is reaching to the satara. Okay, it is dependent upon the first task. That is, first of all, before reaching to the satara, of course, you have to reach first of all karat. Okay, so simple by this example, I am showing here the dependency. So, what is the disadvantage in the bar chart? In bar chart, the main disadvantage was that we can't go for the Con controlling or updating or you can't find out the sequence of the activities but by doing some modification in the bar chart we are going for the milestone chart so in milestone chart that disadvantage is taken care of and here one total activity can be divided into sub activities okay and with the by, by provision of a particular milestones in the different activities and of course here we can show the sequence as well as the dependency okay so here in this milestone chart at least we can show the dependency so of course to complete this second task we have to complete the first task okay so this is the main advantage of the using milestone chart so now we have come to the second point. Now come to the third point. All main activities are divided into number of sub activities and hence every smaller activity can be monitored. Here, every smaller activity can be monitored in better way. Okay? That's why we can uh, go through a different, uh, we can follow different standards also. Okay, So that's why the total quality of the work will be enhanced. So this part, that third, point is more important because application of this third point that is uh, dividing dividing the total activity into number of smaller smaller activity we are going to enhance the total quality of a project okay next again if sub activity is lagging suppose the sub activity is lagging behind then we can monitor it and necessary actions can be taken for controlling Okay, so suppose in this my milestone chart, I, now I'm going to consider example of this R activity. Okay, suppose uh, this for this R activity, I've divided this total R activity with two parts. That is two with two. So I have provided two milestones, five and six. Of course, to complete six tasks, six. Um, to, uh, to go at uh, six milestone, we have to complete fifth milestone. Okay, okay. So here I'm 
showing the dependency. Six is dependent upon the five. Okay, but suppose by any reason, the uh, this fifth activity, this uh, milestone, suppose it is lagging behind as per the duration. As per the duration, suppose it is lagging behind. Okay, so what is to be done? You can monitor this fifth activity directly. Okay, uh, suppose by monitoring this project, we are uh, we are seeing that the fifth activity is lagging behind. So you can control. You can you are able to control that activity by putting extra manpower, extra money, or extra machineries or equipments. You can use by provision extra. Uh, uh, all the resources we can overcome this overcome the time okay by using extra resources we can overcome the time so that the sixth activity will happen at a particular that that is predefined schedule okay so here in the case of milestone chart we can observe a smaller activity we can update we can update a smaller activity. Remember, we can update only a smaller activity, or you can update a, uh, at only a milestones only. Okay, so that controlling can be done for a single activity. Okay, for single activity, the controlling and updating can be applied for only single activity. Okay, suppose what it means? Suppose our total this our activity. Suppose it is getting lagging behind as per the schedule. Suppose this total R activity is lagging behind as per the schedule. Okay, and suppose the uh, S activity and T activity is dependent upon R activity. Then you can't go for the updating of S and T activity. Again, there is a one of the disadvantage of this milestone chart is you can't update or uh, control a project in the milestone chart, but for the different activities, okay, you can't update S and T activity. Okay, it is predefined. Okay, so just this, uh, just in milestone chart, you are allowed updating and controlling only in within the activity. You can for a single activity, for this single within activity, you can do controlling and updating but you can't go for controlling and updating a total project okay so suppose five is lagging behind so uh, up to up to the sixth uh, up to completion of six uh, up to completion of this uh, the five you can apply extra resources and you can come to the sixth active sixth milestone okay but anyhow you have to complete this sixth task within the within the pre-planned schedule okay uh, okay so controlling in milestone chart controlling and updating it can be done for a particular for a particular activity only within that activity you can do controlling and updating but you can't go for controlling and updating for entire project Okay. Again, in each master chart represents the bar by by circle or square. Okay. These milestones, these milestones can be shown by a circle or by the square. Okay. Again, last point. Dependency. Dependency of different activity cannot be defined properly. Again, the same disadvantage of the bar chart is over here. Again, in milestone chart also, we can't show the dependency. We can't show the dependency. Dependency of different activities. Okay. So here, if I can say example of Q and R activity. So here Q activity are divided into two parts, three and four. I have provided two milestones over here, three and four. For R activity, again I have provided two milestones, five and six. Okay. So here I have shown that four and five activity 
are happening at, a, at the same time. That is, four and fifth activity are happening at the same time. Okay, so it doesn't mean that for fourth activity to complete the fourth task, the third acti third uh, milestone has to be completed. Okay. So if you consider only if you consider Q activity only, then to complete to go for the fourth milestone, anyhow you have to complete the third milestone. You have to reach the third milestone, then only you can go for the fourth milestone. Okay. So here there is you can show the dependency or you can show the sequence. Okay. But in case of R. So if you consider this four and five milestones, it doesn't four and five are starting simultaneously. Four and five are starting simultaneously. It is showing this much only that is four and five activities or milestones are starting simultaneously, but it doesn't show any dependency of the four and five. It doesn't mean that after completion of four, we can go for fifth milestone. It doesn't mean that. It means only four and five milestone can start simultaneously. It doesn't mean that five is dependent upon the four. Okay. So in case of milestone chart, we can't show the, we can't show the dependency. Dependency of different activity cannot be shown properly. So this is the, again one of the disadvantages in the milestone chart.